Hello everyone, welcome into my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you and teach you how to make a fresh pasta at home. I'm sure every single one of you loves fresh pasta. And there is nothing tastier than fresh pasta. If you make it right, and if you eat it the same day or following day when you made it, and it is absolutely tasty, absolutely unbelievably good. I used to make fresh pasta almost four times, five times a week in my old restaurant, Piatino, in Portland, Oregon. And this is the picture. What you see, it's me with the pasta. As you see, I'm standing in the kitchen. And behind me was a big window opening to the street. And people, they loved it. They used to come outside and stand there and watch when we were making the pastas. We used to use this pasta for everything, basically for our lasagnette, for fettuccine, for tagliatelle, for our spaghetti, for manicotti, for pappadelle, for basil pasta. Basically making the pasta was the same. Only adding different ingredients into it was dictating what we're gonna use it for. For example, if I was adding basil into it, I used to use it with the pesto pasta. Pasta. If I was adding a little bit of red bell peppers into it, I used to use it as a pappadelle with lamb ragu. Also, we used to have another one, black pasta. We used to add cattlefish ink into it. And that was extremely tasty. It was beautiful. It was beautiful for any seafood dish. Making pasta is very easy. Only few ingredients. And the way I make I only use egg yolk. I do not use whole egg because the white eggs in the, in the pasta, that will make your pasta go a little bit dark, a little bit black, and in a couple of days, you will see it is really black. And adding only egg yolk, it is gonna make your pasta so tasty. It is absolutely beautiful. Also, we are adding half flour and half semolina. Semolina also is a type of flour. If you don't have no semolina, not a big deal. You can just use all-purpose flour, what you have in, uh, in your kitchen. The ingredients we need for fresh pasta are flour, semolina, egg yolks, olive oil, salt, water. And the ingredients we need for bechamel sauce are whole milk, butter, flour, salt, white pepper, nutmeg. Let's get started. Eight ounces of flour in weight and eight ounces of semolina, couple of pinches of salt or to taste, mix all. Five egg yolks and one whole egg. Half an ounce of olive oil. Remember, do not add too much olive oil into your dough because if you add too much olive oil, it won't bound. And about two ounces of water. And start mixing. It is gonna take about four to five minutes for your dough to be mixed and uh, your pasta gets ready. Check your dough and see how wet that is. And if that is not wet enough, add very small amount of water to it. I added about another ounce of water. Again, check the crumbles and see how they are. You can see they are bounding quite all right. And if you see it's a little sticky, you can add very small amount of flour to it. Our dough is a little bit sticky and I'm gonna add about half a tablespoon of flour. Let's stop and check the dough. It's perfect. Remove your pasta from the bowl and massage it for about a minute or so. And wrap it in the saran wrap and let it rest for about half an hour, 40 minutes. I have had my pasta rested for about 45 minutes. I'm gonna cut it to four pieces.
flatten it on the table, give a shape to your pasta to become like rectangular, sprinkle some flour on it, and with the dough roller, try to flatten it. You can use electric or hand crank pasta cutter. I have got one of these KitchenAid dough mixers and they are absolutely amazing. You can add any attachment you want to it. I even have a meat grinder attachment and it does, it does it very well for me. Grab your pasta, sprinkle a little bit of flour on it, turn your machine on, run it through the roller. In the first pause, you fold your pasta on top of each other, the way I did, and run it through. Repeat folding it a few times. Each time you're passing your dough, you are stretching it a little longer. Right now, the number on my dough roller is eight. I'm gonna take it down to six. And each time I close the gap and changing the number, I run the dough twice. This is our first dough, is ready. Let's do the other one before I start cutting it. I'm going to cut our pasta to three equal parts. And three. And I'm gonna cut them in fettuccine style. Perfect. And the last one. And definitely I sprinkle a little bit of flour on each and every one of them, so they are not gonna get stuck to each other. For the bechamel sauce, put your sauce down on your stove. Two ounces of butter, melt it down. Add two tablespoons of flour. Mix the whole thing until you get very nice and a smooth roux. Now add 250 milliliter or eight ounces of warm milk into it. Keep stirring until you get nice, smooth and thick sauce. If you want your bechamel to be a little bit thicker, well, add a little bit more flour into it. Add some white pepper, add some shredded parmesan and some nutmeg. Add a little bit of salt, mix the whole thing, and after about 10 to 12 minutes, your bechamel sauce is ready. Remove it from the heat. That is it. To make our pasta, we need some butter, a small amount of olive oil. Definitely bring your water into boil and add your pasta into the water. Two or three cloves of garlic, one shallot, pinch of black or white pepper, and some chili flake. Saute the whole thing, add your mushrooms. Definitely add more olive oil, few jalapenos, some scallions or green onions. And add your pasta into your mixed vegetable. Add your bechamel sauce and add some of the boiling pasta water into your pasta. As you see how beautifully the pasta is cooked, and definitely dilute your sauce with the better pasta water. And in the end, add a little bit of cilantro into it as well. Our pasta is ready. Let's dish it up and start eating it. This is our final product. You saw how easy it was to be made. Basically, anybody at home with very, very, very few ingredients can make fresh pasta. Water, salt, flour, egg, little bit of olive oil. That's it. There is nothing into it. Anybody can do it. You can do it. And if you cut it 
to different shapes or different thicknesses that will dictate what pasta you made. Basically, you can make it a little bit thinner and put a little bit of stuff on it, put another one on top, that's ravioli. You can cut it to small pieces, roll it with some stuff in it, like meat, vegetable, some cheese, that's gonna become manicotti. Have it a little thicker, cut it about four centimeters, that is gonna be pappadelli. Basically, you can make any pasta, anything you want at home. Let me try some and see how it is. Before anything, let me put a little bit of lemon juice on it. You can see how beautifully it is made. It is absolutely beautiful. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'm sure you agree with me how easy it was to be made. From tomorrow, you can make a fresh pasta at home. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up right at the bottom of this video. Also, please don't forget to share this video with your friends and family through different social medias like WhatsApp, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, anything you are a member of. And subscribe to my channel because I do need your support. Thank you very much for watching. Definitely next couple of days, the weather is going to be a little better outside and I'm going to cook you something outside, some nice barbecue, something good. Thank you for watching. See you soon.